Drop your weapon! Shoot! Shoot! Where's the keys? Give me the keys. I gave them to you. No, you were going to. You didn't. I put them in your pocket. No way. Oh, oh we must have dropped them over here. Yeah, well, you dropped them. You lost them. I never had them. Control to Charlie 5. Coming. Control to Charlie 5. Over. Charlie 5 to control. We are unable to maintain pursuit. Get it away. What are you doing? Saving your ass. <laughs> Glennis Father. Glennis, a little nearer, please. Just well, ju well, they told me to sit on the side of the cushion. Oh, they're, they're just jealous. Well, okay, shall I move that yes. one? Okay. Are you aware, Glennis, that, um, let me have a good look at that hair. I want to remember something. Oh, please. I please. mean, I wanted to know if you remember something. Well, I bet I do. Do you remember the first time we met? Um... You didn't know we'd met before, did you? Yes, we met in Tram. No, that isn't what I mean. Oh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, I don't, then. We've met before and he doesn't remember. Oh. Mm -hmm. It was a traffic jam. And I... you were very gentlemanly. Really? Because it, um, it was Primrose Hill Road and there was a lot of traffic and I'd been waiting for about 15 minutes to get into the traffic mm -hmm. and you were the only person who let me in and I looked and there was Des O'Connor. I couldn't believe it. Well, I think it's only the right thing to do and I'm sure any man that sees you driving past will let you well, in. Well, the rest didn't. Well, I am inclined to let blondes <laughs> in bigger than fellows with ginger beards, I must be honest. <laughs> let me just... Uh, I was going to have a good look at your hair. Now, I don't mm -hmm. mean to be personal. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that you've started a whole new fashion all around the country with... They go in and they say, give me a Harry. Give me a mate piece. <laughs> well, yes, I, I did learn this recently. It was quite a shock, really, because I went to my hairdresser and he said people had been coming in and asking for my hairstyle. You know, they wanted a mate piece hairstyle. I mean, I had this before the show. I mean, it's just a bob, really. I, I mean, it wasn't it's been around done... around for years, It wasn't really. done spe specifically for the mm -mm. show. Apparently, one girl went in and said, let me look like the one in Makepeace and Dempsey. Mm -hmm. and she came out looking like Michael Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, that was very unfortunate. <laughs> well, let me now risk the rage of all the feminists that'll be watching mm -hmm. and say that are we stretching credibility just a little too far? Uh, I mean, you're too pretty to be a cop. Why? Who says a cop has to be ugly? Well, I don't say they have to be ugly, but uh, I mean... Oh, yes, no, I totally you agree. Make... I think I'm a ludicrous cop. No, I really absolutely Oh, agree. no, 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 no. Have I gone too far? No, that, I mean, all I would describe, I would say that you make... No, I make... think it's silly. I do, really. I mean, to be in that particular kind of work. I have actually met an undercover cop who's an extremely attractive girl. Mm. And, in fact, when I met her, she said, oh, I had a dress just like yours in the film. It was, it was a, a leopard skin dress as well. I was absolutely amazed. And, <laughs> and um, she does undercover work. But she, and she was explaining to me the kind of work she does. And, um, but they use her, you know, as a female right. in bars, getting information. Dangerous work, I should imagine. Could yes, you very, and then the men step in. Yeah. What she does is she gets them, she, she finds Just out a little hook. bit of information, yeah. and then when they leave the club, the men are waiting outside right. and get the guy. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you, do you think that men now look at you in a different way? Let, let's take it back, Glenn's pre-Dempsey and Mayfield. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you've got your fair share of, hello. Um, but do they now look at you in a different way, and how do you feel about it? Well, I don't think so. Do you mean... Well, out be socially. Quite... Oh, out socially. You know, and a guy, will, I mean, you'll meet someone and maybe you get to come on a little bit heavier. Or do you? Perhaps yes, I'm... I think... I, yes, I think people chat you up more because That's they... That's what I was asked. Yeah, <laughs> because, because they know your make piece. And I keep thinking they wouldn't be chatting me up if they it's didn't know It's an unfortunate name was, when you think about you know. it, isn't it? <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> Look, everybody's curious about your relationship... Um, off screen with Michael Brandon. I thought you were going to say Spikings for a minute. Spikings? Yes, he's the one I'm really having a romance with. Spikings? Spikings, Ray Smith. I didn't know anything about this. This is all news <laughs> to me. We'll leave Ray Smith where he is for the moment. Um, 
I would like to return. I'm sure the viewers would like to know. Mm. I mean, you don't have to. Mm. But what I'm trying to say, is he your chap? <sighs> yep. Yes. Well, you mm. see, we've got all this thing, don't we, the papers well, about know. they hate each other? Oh, I know. It's been so silly, hasn't it? I mean, it's been going on for so long. You must be bored to death with it. <laughs> I mean, I am. Oh, yes, you see, someone said yes. I am. I keep thinking, God, they don't want to hear about this. I mean, who cares? Oh, they do. But it became the a about her. <laughs> the money about her, she yeah. came on her own. <laughs> Most, most people are interested. I mean, that's why they... Well, it became a, this, this game with the press, and it, it just got out of hand. I mean, in the beginning, you see, it, it wasn't that, um, you know, relationships sort of start tentatively, and, you know, you don't really want the papers to note no. every step of the way. And they're like a step ahead of you anyway. They're Make reporting their next week's news, you know. And you don't even know if you're going to be together next week. So, you know, you... you you get a little coy, and then it, and then they start coming at you like a ton of bricks, and then you, you sort of have this animal instinct to hide. You know, if I see a photographer, I just go like that. It's just a reaction now. I don't think they realise how scary they are. They when are. When you walk out of a club door or out of a restaurant, do, 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 do. And, I mean, that is the instant reaction, isn't it? Yes. And then they put those shots of you in the Sunday paper. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> and I always get my nose like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dreadful in those things. Well, I can't imagine you ever looking sort of uh, oh, unattractive. I do. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll gosh. take your word for it. Some rough photographs, now I they, can tell you. The show is taking off in America, isn't it? Yes, well, it's just started there, and um, it's in a different slot in each city because it's syndication. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, in some places it's already doing really slow. well, and in some places it's still sort of starting, as it mm -hmm. were. Um, but it's a tough market, America. Yeah, you break that. I'm, I'm practically certain that with that lovely accent with those lovely looks, you'll break it. Now, does this mean, Glynis, that if an offer is there, we're going to lose you? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think I'd always go where the work is, but it does depend what it is. I mean, and I hate the idea of leave, leaving England. I love London. What do you want to do? And I love living here. I'd love to do a wonderful film with a wonderful director and a wonderful script, but there aren't many of those. I think it's on its way. Ladies and gentlemen, Glynis Barber.